My name is Joe Murray. I'm a gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm talking to you about a recent paper published in Public Health Nutrition out of a study from Australia. As it appears in the public media, there's a great interest in avoiding gluten. Australia is a country where there's a lot of people avoiding gluten, which is a little ironic because it's one of the major producers of wheat. Um, this study was a postal survey sent out to adults, and there were over a thousand res respondents, a little bit more women than men, um, that responded. And they asked people about if they were avoiding gluten, and if they were, why? And had they experienced some symptoms from eating gluten? And these researchers found that a significant proportion of people with celiac, or proportion of people in Australia, of adults, more women than men, seemed to be avoiding gluten, and many of them were avoiding gluten because it made them feel better to avoid gluten. And most of them didn't have celiac disease. They weren't especially or unusually neurotic or focused on their health than others. There may have been um, a tendency of people who perhaps didn't embrace traditional medicine, but rather were looking for non-traditional alternative answers to health concerns. But nonetheless, this is a substantial proportion of a developed country um, are avoiding gluten, much more so than what we know in the United States. Um, and most of them are doing it because they feel better. And we don't know why they feel better. And some recent work, also from Australia, suggests that many people are feeling better because they avoid gluten, not because of the gluten, but perhaps of because of other components in wheat, particularly fructans, are something that belong to a group of food ingredients called FODMAPs. And it may be that um, avoiding gluten or going on a gluten-free diet may reduce the amount of FODMAPs that you eat. We also know that avoiding gluten will result in eating less fast food, probably less junk food, and maybe even less food, at least for a while, and for um, a lot of developed countries, eating less is probably the best nutritional advice we can give most people. Anyway, it's an area of great interest, and obviously now of economic concern, um, because if you are a food producer based in wheat, and if a larger population, a percentage of population are avoiding wheat, this will have some economic consequences. Thank you.